And the clue is, they save a lot. Oh, it's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Buttery. Alrighty, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody. Welcome to uh, Travel. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Today, the jackpot in our bonus print stands at $15,000. Winner's going to get a chance that a little later. Charlie has our first two players, and here they are. She's our champion. He's a massage therapist. Originally from Detroit, Michigan, Yvette Deary. And originally from the Bronx, New York, Sandy Kaufman. Well, nice to have you both here. How are you, Yvette? How are you? Good. 1,500, doing pretty good. Tell yeah. us about yourself a little bit more. Well, um, a lot of people say I have an old soul because even though I'm 24, I like old movies and old music from the 40s and 50s. Well, I wonder what that, because I like it from, like, the 20s and 30s. Yeah. I must be older than you, I guess I am. Nice to have you here, Beth. Thank you. Yeah. And Sandy, tell Hi. us about yourself. Hi, Chuck. I'm a massage therapist and a weight loss consultant. And a weight loss consultant. Well, you're thin, so you look like you I've follow your own advice. I've lost 32 pounds, yeah. You lost 32 pounds? 32 pounds. How long ago? Um, well, the first time I lost it was about nine years ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're the challenger. You're up first, Sandy. Let's play Scrabble. We're going to play until one of our players gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. A chance of the bonus sprint worth $15,000 today. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter A. There are eight letters in the word, and the clue is it happens when a bunch of flakes get together. Don't forget those bonus squares, uh, the pink and blue. All right, Sandy, happens you're a bunch of flakes get together. Number six and number one. And a Z and a B. Uh, the B. First position in the word. It happens when a bunch of flakes get together. Uh, wrong answer. Yvette, over to you. Okay, I'll take the 10. And a Z and an N. I'll try the N. Stopper. Well, Sandy. Number seven. So intense, Sandy. I know. A Z or an F. I'll take the Z. It happens when a bunch of flakes get together. I think the S is a stopper. Blizzard. That's right, it's Blizzard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, on occasion when a bunch of flakes get together, a barricade will go up. You never know. Okay, Yvette. Building on the letter R in Blizzard, seven letters in the word. The clue is, there have been times when Liz Taylor wondered if she'd ever get through it. Oh, this is, ooh, ooh, this is, yes, we'll be written up with this one. Go ahead, Yvette. Okay, I'll take the nine and the four. A Y and a D. I'll try to D. First position in the word, there have been times when Liz Taylor wondered if she'd ever get through it. I'll try to Y. Last position in the word. Okay, I'll take a seven and a five. I have a W and a T. I'll try to T. Stop her, Sandy. Okay, I don't know it yet, so I'll take uh, the three. W and an O. I'll take the O. There have been times when Liz Taylor wondered if she'd ever get through it. I'll take the W. Worth $500 in the bonus jackpot. There have been Ooh. times when Liz Taylor wondered if she'd ever I get through it. I money in the jackpot. Doorway. That's right. <laughs> Ooh. Is that you, Jan? No, it's Gary. Who? <laughs> Gary? It was Gary. It was Gary. All mail goes to Gary. Okay. Building on the letter A in doorway, Yvette. Eight letters in the word. The clue is... O solo mio. O solo mio. Is that an A? Sounds kind of like... Oh, well, never mind. I'm not going to say it. A B or an R? I'll try to B. First position in the word, O solo mio. I'll try to R. Last position in the word. Boy, you're filling the good ones in. Okay, I don't know. So I'll take the five and the two. L and a C. I'll try to C. $500 in a bonus jackpot, O solo mio. Or O solo mio. Or you can say it, O solo mio. <laughs> 
Wasn't that funny, but it killed some time. Go ahead. Well, Just take well, the L if you don't know what it is. I'll try again. Okay. Back door? Not a bad guess. I have no uh, idea how it relates, but... Take Andy, pile number seven. L and an E. I'll try the E. Oh, solo mio. Uh, Thank you, Sandy. I'll try the L. I know this one. That's love. That's the game. One, two, three. Bingo. Oh. Well, you bet. You just couldn't get many, many breaks. At least you took a try at it. Oh, I appreciate that. You do have $1,500, which isn't that bad. No. And uh, we have a nice parting gift for you, Charlie. You bet. For you, we have Royal Signature Series Dirt Devil Upright. As a full set of attachments built right into the cleaner for a complete floor-to-ceiling cleaning. Furnished by Royal Appliance. Oh, I hope you can use that. I can use that. Well, good. Thank you. Thanks, Yvette. Good luck to you. Scrabble Sprint's coming up. We're going to come back and uh, have a, a chance to watch Sandy play it. Right after this. Stay with us. We'll be back to play another crossword game and try to add more money to the bonus jackpot. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Thank you, Charlie. Sandy Coffin has uh, $500. It's going to establish time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. So, just a little bit of the shoulder right there. Oh, there you go, man. <laughs> All right. You think I'm going to play, don't you? Just yeah. keep it up. <laughs> All right. All right. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. There are no stoppers. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the letters are good. Okay? okay? First word has five letters. Six letters. He's always getting buried in his work. He's always getting buried in his work. Ready? Ready. Go. R. H. T. He's always getting buried in his work. Sofa. Yes. The second word has seven letters. They're made to be broken. They're made to be broken. Ready? Ready. Go. R. C. Record. Yes. The third word has eight letters. Criminal intent. Criminal intent. Ready? Ready. Go. Q. T. E. Criminal intent. A. R. S. Slaughter. Yes. That's a good puzzle, but it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. What was that? Oh, that's what it looks good. Okay. Last word, nine letters. It's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. What are we screaming at each I other don't for? Know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword! It's a double-edged sword! Ready? Okay, ready. Go. L. S. K. It's a double-edged sword. N. W. Wilkinson. That's it. 33.4 shot. That's a good time. Wilkinson was not that easy. And, uh... Water was up. Whoa, really tough. All right, 33.4. That's the time to beat. We'll be back to find somebody to try right after this. See you. Yeah, that was good. Uh... Sandy Kaufman is our champion, and we have two new players. Charlie's got them for us. Charlie? She's an entrepreneur. He's an architecture student. Originally from New Rochelle, New York, Wendy Brigode. And originally from Seattle, Washington, Tom Williams. All right, nice to see you both. How are you, Wendy? Fine, Scott. Good. What are you, uh, what are you entrepreneuring? I'm manufacturing jewelry and women's accessories. That's a big deal nowadays, isn't it? I mean, Joan Rivers, everybody's in on that. Yeah, they are. Yeah, is it like real jewelry or that fake stuff? Costumes. Costume. Looks like a costume. That's a better way to express it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Fake stuff probably wouldn't go very far, would it? Yeah. Anything else about you, Wendy? We I have know? three beautiful children, Taylor, Madison, and Bridget. Oh, good. Yeah, nice. Well, nice to have you here. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank you. And uh, Tom, tell us about yourself. Well, after a few years renovating houses, I've gone back to school, and in June, I get my master's degree in architecture. Well, isn't that great? Yeah. How nice. Well, welcome to the show. Good luck okay. to you. Who won the toss backstage? I did. All right, Wendy, let's go to the board. We're going to play a little Scrabble here. 
Building on the letter A, nine letters in the word. The clue is... Fathers say it's too soon when their sons ask what it means. Okay, Chuck. I will take the three... and the nine. M or an R? I'll take the M, please. Fathers say it's too soon when their sons ask what it is or what it means. I don't have an idea. Could you please place the R? Did you keep the clue? Please? Yes, I don't think it'll help much, but fathers say it's too soon when their sons ask what it means. We may go to the end of this puzzle. Um, I think I'll take the 11 and the 2. Another A and a G. I will take the A, please. Over here, okay, don't have a guess yet, so I'll take the four. E or a G? Could I have the E? Fathers say it's too soon when their sons ask what it means. I still don't know, so give me the G. That's a stopper. Back to you, Wendy. I will take the eight and the seven. A P or a U? Kind of like how this puzzle smells, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't have said it, but there's one of those things where you just can't resist. Can you I'll please place the P? Yes. First position in the word. Fathers say it's too soon when their sons ask what it what what it means. Is it premature? Yeah, it's unfortunately. Five hundred. All right, both jackpots up to sixteen thousand. What does that? What, has that got any significance to anything other than what? The kid says, hey, what does premature mean, Dad? And Dad says it's too soon. It means too soon. Do you see what I'm up against here? <laughs> All right, Tom. Building on the letter E in premature, seven letters in the word, the clue is chances are Queen Elizabeth has never set foot in them. Okay, I don't have a guess, so I'll take tile number three and tile number five. And I, by the way, I beg to disagree with this. I'm just going to disagree. We'll see when we get finished with it. O or a K? I'll go for the O. <clears throat> it's worth $500. Chances are Queen Elizabeth has never set foot in these, or in them. Oh, don't have a guess. Place the K, please. Still don't know, so I'll go for the four and six. R and another R. Oh, I'll go for an R. First position in the word. Look at this. Five hundred dollars. Tell me what it is. Chances are Queen Elizabeth has never set foot in them. Reba? That's exactly right. Another five hundred. Up to sixteen thousand five hundred. Bonus jackpot. Yeah. Good. Now, maybe you don't know this, but the but Reebok is a British company, and I happen to know that she runs every morning. But about the wears, same she wears Nike. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Building on the letter R in Reebok, when the eight letters in the word, the clue is one secret of a long and healthy life is to avoid this. Okay, Chuck, I think I'll take the three. I was going to ask if you knew, but apparently not. And the nine. M or an I? Let's place the M, please. No, stop it right off the bat. Tom, over to you. Okay, don't have a guess. I'll go for the four. Well, take an I, Tom. I think I'll have an I. One secret of a long and healthy life is to avoid this. Could have the other eye. Sure. The surrounding that R. Hmm. Okay, I'll go for five and the one. N or a K. Could you place the N, please? One secret of a long and healthy life is to avoid this. Retiring? Uh, no. Wendy? Okay, I will take the six, please. L or a K? I'd like to place the L, please. Stop it. Over to you, Tom. Or is this ever working out for you? <laughs> yes. I'll go for the seven. X or a K? Place the X, please. One secret of a long and healthy life is to avoid this. Expiring. <laughs> 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 Building on the letter N and expiring, there are six letters in the word, and the clue is, it's what a one-a-day vitamin is. Wendy? Okay, I'll take the three and the five. 
are. Well, there you go. Give me the, you keep the clue, please? Oh, just take an R. You won't know what it I is. I will take it. It's R. what a one-a-day vitamin is. R, please. <laughs> Plus now it's worth a thousand dollars, and now tell me it's what a uh, it's what one a day vitamin is. A one a day vitamin is. I'll place the other R. No luck. That's, that's the top of time. Okay, I'll go for the four and the two. And an H and an I. It's the I, please. Five hundred dollars. It's what a one a day vitamin is. Oh, don't have. A clue. How about the H? Stop her, Wendy. You can tie it up. I'll take the one and the seven. Does this feel like the longest puzzle? I mean, I feel like I've been here since, I don't know, Thursday or something. It may be Thursday. I'll place the O, please. It's what a one-a-day vitamin is. G. Um, I'll place the A. Can't give it the last letter. Tie it up. It's what a one-a-day vitamin is. Tom, what is it? Ration. That's it. Ration. One, two, three. Bingo. Yeah, well, sometimes they come to you and sometimes they don't. Those are all kind of odd ones, too, yeah. Parting gift's going to get you the vacuum. I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Why not? Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, Tom's got the chance at 16500 to begin with the 500. We'll be right back to watch him. Tony Kaufman has established the time in 33.4 seconds. He has 500. This is for $1,000. Tom Williams is going to try to beat that time. Uh, remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And there are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good, Tom. Okay. First word, six letters. He's always getting buried in his work. Always getting buried in his work. Ready? Yeah. Go. R. T. G. He's always getting buried. So far, correct. The second word has seven letters. They're made to be broken. They're made to be broken. Ready? All right. Go. R. F. T. They're made to be broken. Record. The third word has eight letters. Criminal intent. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm Go. Q. T. R. Criminal intent. F. A. U. Criminal intent. Squatter? Yes. Yeah. Squatter. Uh -huh. uh, it's a criminal in a tent. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Last one, nine <laughs> letters. You have 10.3 seconds left. It's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. Ready? Mm hmm Go. L. S. I. A double-edged sword. N. W. A double-edged sword. N. Uh, have any idea? Wilkerson. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, welcome. I appreciate that. Welcome. What do people always say? Welcome. You know, Blade Company. Oh, uh, Simple is a double-edged sword. Anyway, uh, Sandy's got one thousand five hundred dollars. He gets a shot at the sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. Right after this, stay with us. What's on? Welcome. Boy, this is a lot of money. Oh, yeah. This thing's been building for a long time. I want to take it home. 16500 Is this fun or what? All right, good luck. I'll Thank help you. you as much as I can. Thank you. Ooh. You may have a real shot at this one. Six letters. They have roots in Holland. They have roots in Holland. Ready? Okay. Go. S. That's right. 8.4 seconds left for the last word. Seven letters. Baby strollers. Baby strollers. Ready? Sure, ready. Go. E. D. I. Baby strollers. D. Daddy. Yes, yes. You got it. You got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's great. 
if you don't get this one with 8.4 seconds left for daddy, there's just no way. There he is. Yeah. Tomorrow, I've got to start a bonus at 1,000. If you oh, don't do it, we'll yeah. see you then. Sandy says goodbye. of our studio audience will receive Ricardo Beverly Hills exciting Bel Air collection. Lightweight, durable fashion luggage designed for weekend or around the world trips. Furnished by Ricardo Beverly Hills. The following companies have paid a fee for product promotion. Improved richer, creamier Cremora with the easy pour lid. Cremora, it's the coffee creamier. Crest Smith Brothers, a tradition since 1847 that soothes sore throats. Smith Brothers, available in bags, boxes, and rolls. Werther's Original Candies, the classic candy made with real butter and fresh cream. Travel is a Red Grundy production.